cold open, picture a man named Bob. Bob, oh dear Bob, has a rather peculiar problem. You see, Bob has a knack for getting his arms ripped off. Yes, you heard right. Not once, not twice, but three times. Now you may be thinking, how does a person get their arms ripped off three times? Well, my friend, let me recount for you the chronicles of Bob and his detachable arms. Our story begins on a seemingly ordinary day. Bob, minding his own business, was checking his mail when two monkey pretenders swooped in off the street. Before he could say banana, his arms were torn from their sockets. Bob, shocked and armless, could only watch as the mischievous duo scampered away. Fast forward to his first day back at work, post-recovery. Bob, now equipped with inflatable arms, was typing away in his office when, wouldn't you know it, the same two monkey pretenders burst through the window. Without missing a beat, they ripped Bob's new arms clean off. The office was in chaos. Bob was once again armless, and the monkey pretenders? They were having fun juggling bananas. The third incident took place on live television. Bob, a brave soul, had agreed to be an audience member on a popular cooking show. Just as the host was about to reveal the secret ingredient, in swing are notorious monkey pretenders. They rip off Bob's arms again, but the food was so good that everyone sided with the monkeys. Now, Bob, ever the optimist, decided to make a change. He found a support group, a place where he thought he could finally escape his arm-ripping fate. Upon arrival, he sees a familiar scene. Prop trees, vines, and the two monkey pretenders. They see Bob wearing a banana pattern shirt, and well, you can guess what happened next. As Bob lay there, once again frustrated and armless, he noticed a sign on the door. It read, Monkey Support Group. Oh, the irony. Bob, the man who just wanted to live a normal arm-attached life, had walked right into the belly of the beast. And so we leave Bob, armless but not hopeless, because if there's one thing we've learned about Bob, it's that he never loses his sense of humor, even when life, quite literally, rips his arms off.